is all you need for protection. This is what gets you the comfortable and quick way of actually donning your PPE. Back then, everyone had face shields, and then the requirement came for wearing a balaclava with their face shield. The reason being is that there's a pretty big opening, there's a gap at the back of your face shield where this would provide you protection. What, I, what we noticed, what Ryan brought to my attention, was you had also had the green arc flash shoots here way back when, which were the 40 cal suits from Oberon. And the workers in, in the e-houses or wherever you're doing these work tasks, instead of wearing safety glasses, earplugs, balaclava, and this, or even just the safety glasses, earplugs, and this, they went to using a hood. So they wear their orange clothing, and then they wear this 40 cal hood. And the reason why is because it had a ventilation system at the back. So it just, I thought, I learned a lot from that experience where if you have your own personal hood, it's a lot more comfortable and easier to use than wearing the balaclava over top of safety glasses and earplugs. One of the things that COVID's taught us is that if you have glasses, like safety glasses or prescription glasses, and you wear a mask, those things don't really match very well because they create a lot of fog and right as you exhale. The same thing happens with, with the balaclava. You have to wear safety glasses. That's considered your primary protection. And then the face shield is your secondary protection. So if, you, if you're wearing the glasses with this balaclava, you may not be able to see properly. Instead of wearing this and that, you could put your glasses on and then throw your hood on. The, the actual time you have to wear the PPE is probably less than a couple minutes. And if you're wearing it for longer, you probably shouldn't be because you, you should turn the power off and then do your work task. You verify absence of voltage as part of the steps Chris described. And then once you have this condition that is considered safe or is you know, equal to the ground or the earth, you no longer need your PPE. So then you take this off and you work comfortably. So just the point that if you have your own personal hoods as electrical workers, with the ventilation system and the light in the front, that may be a lot better than using this guy. Exactly. You know, this is all you need for protection. This is what gets you the comfortable and quick way of actually donning your PPE. I guarantee if I put two workers up here and told them to put on safety glasses, earplugs, like properly roll them down and put them in, and you had to put on the balaclava and the face shield, or the other worker had to put on the hood, the worker that had the option for the hood would be finished their work task before this person's even ready to start. And again, the work task is usually verification of absence of voltage before you proceed. Uh, we were working with a company for five, six years now who have gone that route, not even issued face shields and balaclavas. They only issue the people the hood because it's easier, no confusion, anything more than 1.2 calories, slap a hood on, get the zero volts, take the hood off.